in this section we deals with chemical reactions of esters under this section we mainly discuss about six chemical reactions of esters first one is hydrolysis it is divided into two acidic hydrolysis and alkaline hydrolysis this also called saponification second one is transesterification it is also called alcoholysis third one is amenolysis and fourth one is reduction reduction is also divided into two first one is catalytic reduction that is nothing but hydrogenolysis second one is chemical reduction fifth one is action with pcl5 and at last sixth one is glycerol condensation let us discuss one by one in detail first of all we want to know about esters r c o o r dash are the derivatives of acids in which the oh function of the carboxyl group has been replaced by o r dash function where r dash is alkyl aryl etc first one is hydrolysis in acidic hydrolysis we get carboxylic acid and in alkaline hydrolysis we get carboxylic ion acidic hydrolysis hydrolysis is nothing but reaction with water hydrolysis is hydrolysis of an ester using a mineral acid like h2so4 or hcl yields a carboxylic acid and an alcohol acidic hydrolysis is a reversible reaction and the reverse reaction is nothing but esterification that is an acid react with an alcohol we get ester and water this is esterification this is the general reaction of acidic hydrolysis when ester is reacted with water in the presence of h2so4 or hcl it yield a carboxylic acid and alcohol here is the example when ethyl acetate react with water in acidic medium we get acetic acid and ethanol and methyl benzoate react with water in acidic medium then we get benzoic acid and methanol next one is alkaline hydrolysis this is also called saponification saponification is the formation of soap molecule alkaline hydrolysis is the hydrolysis of an ester by a base gives the salt of the acid and alcohol this is known as saponification here naoh break as na plus and oh minus then na plus attached to rco o minus part of ester then we get sodium salt of acetic acid and alcohol here is the example ethyl acetate react with naoh we get sodium acetate and ethyl alcohol a similar reaction is used in the preparation of soap by alkaline hydrolysis of oil or fat which are glyceryl esters of long chain fatty acids ester plus base we get alcohol and soap here we take three molecules of naoh and a triglyceride naoh breaks as na plus and oh minus and triglyceride breaks like this then we get glycerol and sodium stearate that is soap next we look at the mechanism of saponification isotope laboratory studies have provided that alkaline hydrolysis of ester is a two step process which involves acyl oxygen fusion and is kinetically of second order here nucleophile is oh minus first step of saponification is nucleophilic attack to give a tetrahedral intermediate then the double bond reforms this double bond reforms and the alkoxide leaves now we have a carboxylic acid and an alkoxid now alkoxid is extremely strong base and the carboxylic acid has unnecessary hydrogen on it now next step is proton exchange and give carboxylate and a neutral alcohol this is all about mechanism of saponification the second chemical reaction is 
ട്രാൻസ് എസ്റ്റോറിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ആൾസോ കാൾഡ് അൽക്കഹോളിസിസ് വെൻ ആൻ എസ്റ്റർ ഈസ് ഹീറ്റഡ് അണ്ടർ റിഫ്ലക്സ് വിത്ത് എ ലാർജ് എക്സസ് ഓഫ് ആൻ ആൽക്കഹോൾ ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ മിനറൽ ആസിഡ് സജസ് സൾഫ്യൂരിക് ആസിഡ് ഓർ എച്ച് സി എൽ ആൻഡ് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ദിയർ ആൽക്കോക്സി പാർട്ട് ഒക്കേഴ്സ് ടു യീൽഡ് എ ന്യൂ എസ്റ്റർ ആൻഡ് ന്യൂ ആൽക്കഹോൾ ഹിയർ ഇസ് ദ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഈദൽ അസറ്റേറ്റ് വെൻ ഈദിൽ അസറ്റേറ്റ് ഈസ് റിയാക്ട് വിത്ത് മെത്തനോൾ ഇൻ അസറ്റിക് മീഡിയം റിവേഴ്സിബിളി ഗ്യൂസ് മീദൽ അസറ്റേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എത്തനോൾ ഹിയർ the exchange of alkoxy group occurs next one is amanolysis esters slowly react with ethanolic ammonia to yield amides and alcohols here is the example ethyl acetate slowly react with ethanolic ammonia to yield acetamide and ethanol we can easily write the product by box like this Next one is reduction. It is divided into two. First one is catalytic reduction that is hydrogenolysis and the second one is chemical reduction that is bivalt plank reduction. In catalytic reduction, esters are reduced to alcohols by hydrogen in presence of copper chromate catalyst at 200 to 300 degrees Celsius and 200 to 300 atm pressure. In chemical reduction esters are reduced to alcohols by sodium and alcohol or by LaAlH4 Here is the example of catalytic reduction that is methyl propionate is reduced to propan 1 ol and methanol by hydrogen in the presence of copper chromate catalyst and 250, 250 degrees Celsius and 200 atm Now look at the example of chemical reduction that is methyl propionate is reduced to two molecule of ethanol by sodium and alcohol or lithium aluminum hydride any ethylenic double bond if present in the ester molecule does not get reduced in this method using sodium and alcohol or lithium aluminum hydride Fifth one is action with PCl5. Esters react with PCl5 to yield acid chlorides and alkyl chlorides. When methyl acetate react with PCl5, we get acetyl chloride and methyl chloride. We can easily write the product of this reaction function by splitting of PCl5 like this. This is not the actual mechanism of this reaction. The last reaction is Claisen condensation. It is having at least one alpha hydrogen undergo self condensation in the presence of a strong base like sodium alkoxide to form beta keto esters. Alpha carbon is the carbon at which the COO group is attached. Here this is alpha carbon and it has two alpha hydrogens. here is the general form of claisen condensation that is two molecules of ester having at least one alpha hydrogen undergo self condensation in the presence of sodium alkoxide to give beta keto ester now look at the example of claisen condensation when two molecules of ethyl acetate undergo self condensation in the presence of sodium alkoxide and ethanol we get ethyl acetoacetate it is a beta keto ester we can easily write the product of claisen condensation by boxing like this and we get beta keto ester this is alpha position and this is beta position here the keto group is in beta position so it is called beta keto ester mechanism of claisen condensation will discuss in eighth chapter this is all about my topic chemical reactions of esters thanks for listening